2015 films made us cheer, laugh, cry, and everything in between. There are stories about what happened. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best movies of 2015. Benji, open that door right now! Yeah, I'm trying! For this list, we're looking at those films that had their wide theatrical releases in 2015 and are basing our choices on a mix of their critical and commercial success, overall popularity, and our own opinion. Let's slow it down. Let's slow it way down. Number 10, Room. I'm scared. I know. Based on screenwriter Emma Donahue's novel of the same name, Room may not have set the box office on fire, but its quality and the positive critical response it received are undeniable. The Canadian-Irish drama thriller stars Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay as a mother and son who are confined to a tiny room. After they make their escape, however, they must face the perils of the outside world. I see windows and hundreds of cars and birds and Grandma and Grandpa. Jack? Someone here would like to meet you. The two stars more than managed to carry the film practically all by themselves, thanks to their nuanced, passionate performances. And the story, while unforgivably tense, goes to great lengths to show the unstoppable power of maternal love. Number 9, Carol. Dearest, there are no accidents and everything comes full circle. Nominated for five Golden Globes, Carol is another understated yet terrific movie. Hailed as the best movie of the year by multiple outlets, the romantic drama tells the story of a shop girl slash aspiring photographer who falls in love with an older woman, who also happens to have a husband and a daughter. You're always the most beautiful woman in the room. While this may not sound as exciting as some of the other entries, the film's acting and direction are some of the best seen in 2015. Meanwhile, its 1950s New York setting provides an elegant and nostalgic backdrop for the personal drama it covers. If the critical acclaim and multiple award nods it's received so far are any indication, Carol will definitely be one to watch out for during award season. It shouldn't be like this. I know. Number 8, The Revenant. Inspired by the novel based on real-life frontiersman Hugh Glass, The Revenant tells the dark and disturbing story of a man who survives a vicious bear attack and hunts those who left him for dead. The biographical western thriller is one of the most stunning films of the year, as it's filled with gorgeous shots by cinematographer Emmanuel Lubetsky. Director Alejandro G. Iñárritu plots and paces the movie perfectly. And the amazing cast, including Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy, turn in terrific performances. He's afraid. He knows how far I came to find him. It's one of Leo's finest movies, and one for which we hope he'll finally get his Academy Award. I ain't afraid to die anymore. I've done it already. Number 7. The Hateful Eight. Got room for one more? Just squeaking in to round out the year in style, Quentin Tarantino's second western sees the director deliver yet another masterpiece that cements him as one of the greatest filmmakers of our generation. Now we're talking! The movie contains an all-star cast, all at the top of their game, as they portray dangerous strangers who seek refuge from a blizzard in a stagecoach stopover. Okay, everybody, hear this. I'm taking this woman to hang. Rewards $10,000. That money's mine, boys. Set post-Civil War, The Hateful Eight is filled with Tarantino's trademark style and dialogue. I ain't too anxious to be handing out rides. Real trusting fella, huh? Not so much. And the gorgeous cinematography is matched flawlessly by the beautiful score from iconic composer Ennio Morricone. If this movie doesn't bring back the Western, we don't know what will. No one said this job's supposed to be easy. <laughs> Nobody said it's supposed to be that hard, neither. Number six, Ex Machina. Just when we thought science fiction was a dying genre, in comes Ex Machina, a fantastic sci-fi mystery thriller that no one saw coming. Hello. 
centered around a programmer who's hired to perform the Turing test on a human-like robot. Ex Machina was not only one of the year's best, but is also arguably one of the most memorable sci-fi movies in recent memory. It's strange to have made something that hates you. It's visually striking and thrilling, as any great sci-fi should be. Structured gel. I had to get away from circuitry. I needed something that could arrange and rearrange on a molecular level. While at the same time introducing complex themes and concepts that left viewers thinking long after the credits finished rolling. Did you program her to flirt with me? If I did, would that be cheating? Wouldn't it? Number five, The Martian. But if I can't figure out a way to make contact with NASA, then none of this matters anyway. Ridley Scott is one of the greatest directors of our time. So it was time for him to give us another great movie after his recent attempts fell flat. Right, I'm done. The money's divided, and so should we be. Enter The Martian, an exhilarating and funny story about an astronaut who is mistakenly left behind on Mars and is forced to survive. I gotta figure out a way to grow three years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows. The movie blends the survival story perfectly with surprising humor, gorgeous cinematography, and some incredible performances. Prep emergency departure. We're scrubbed, that's an order. While the sci-fi flick does focus on thrills and excitement, Watch out! it remains grounded in emotion, satisfying critics and audiences alike, scoring a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, and grossing over $580 million at the box office. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. Number four, Sicario. Okay. While Sicario is a more subdued entry compared to the blockbusters that appear on this list, that doesn't mean the action thriller isn't excellent. FBI! The story follows an FBI agent who's brought into the escalating drug problem at the U.S.-Mexico border. Every day across that border, people are kidnapped or killed. And features mesmerizing performances from stars Emily Blunt and Benicio Del Toro. Who do you work for now? Oh, I go where I'm sent. It's a dark tale full of violence and brutality, but it also features some thought-provoking messages regarding its realistic storyline and themes. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. Exciting, dramatic, and haunting all in one, Sicario surprised everyone and has been racking up the award nominations near and far. I just want to know what I'm getting into. Number three, Inside Out. I'm done. Congratulations, San Francisco. You've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. Really, anything with the Pixar and Disney names attached to it is bound to be good. But Inside Out is something else entirely. These are Riley's memories, and they're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. The story is completely unique and original, focusing on a young girl's five personified emotions as she struggles to adapt to a new city. My name is Riley Anderson. I'm from Minnesota, and now I live here. The 3D animated adventure flick makes you laugh ah! and cry. I could listen to her stories all day. While simultaneously touching your heart and assuring you that everything is gonna be okay. Wait, what? Almost finished with a potential disasters. Worst scenario is either quicksand, spontaneous combustion, or getting called on by the teacher. Visually stimulating for the kids and thought-provoking for adults, the comedy drama mixes the ages of its audience members perfectly and provides something for everyone. Guys, what's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. Whoa. Number two, Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. In what was no doubt the most anticipated movie of the year, and arguably one of the most anticipated movies ever, J.J. Abrams again delivered another delightful, moving, and overall wonderful science fiction movie experience. The dark side. A Jedi. Mixing memorable new characters with the iconic cast of the original trilogy. It's true. All of it. The epic space opera follows the Resistance and the First Order as they battle in some of the most spectacular and imaginative action sequences in recent years.
surpassing all expectations. The Force Awakens easily stands among the originals and kickstarts a new series for a new generation. Chewie, we're home. Before we reveal the best movie of the year, here are some honorable mentions. Constitution, it's what makes us Americans. Shouldn't we show our enemies who we are? Ooh, I like Tom's sweater. He's doing like the to catch a predator look. <coughs> Amy! What? Look, I don't want you hanging out with me. I don't need your stupid pity. It's fine, you can just go. No, no, hey, you got it all wrong. I'm not here because I pity you. I'm actually here just my mom is making me. It's actually worse. You're not built for this. These boys come in here, they gotta fight for life. People die in the ring. Your daddy died in the ring. I don't know him. I ain't got nothing to do with me. We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I sat in a garage and invented the future because artists lead and hacks ass for a show of hands. Look, even though it's following you, I can still see it. It's not done with me either, okay? And like I told you, all you can do is pass it along to someone else. Number one, Mad Max Fury Road. In an age where many action movies rely heavily on CGI, it's exciting to see a film that uses a lot of actual stunts and stunt people, such is the case for this action extravaganza. The story follows Max as he helps a group of women cross a post-apocalyptic desert. You can get in. Not without them. But that's really just an excuse to crash cars and make things go boom. While the action is mind-blowing and refreshingly sensational, the movie's story also takes its time to develop characters and inject some humanity amid the chaos. They're looking for hope. What about you? Redemption. Kudos to 70-year-old director George Miller, who pretty much wipes the floor with every other action director working today, thanks to this fourth installment in the Mad Max franchise. Do you agree with our list? What was your favorite movie of 2015? Corporate felt genetic modification would up the wow factor. They're dinosaurs, wow enough. For more amazing top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Just let it in.